Right, so this video is basically going to be linked to a blog that I've just written, um, which will be linked below. You know, it will be pinned at the top of the comments section um, and in the description. But what I just want to talk about is simplicity. Um, now with with the Nexus, yeah, because we, we live in a world where everything's overcomplicated, you know, it, it, and it is. Uh, we think that technology is making things easier, but all you've got to do is ring up any service center, you know, where you're having to speak to a tape recorder, and we realize that things get really complicated. So I believe that we're being wired to to look at things in a far more complicated fashion than than certain things require okay now the thing that i'm starting to kind of get here because there's a few users you know new nexus users this it's the thought process okay it's the mindset and it's too complicated it's over complicated okay and i'll explain what i mean by this now when you buy, like with my my Nocta Legend, you know, the Equinox and, and machines like that that are very similar, you have loads of settings. We've joked about this. I've made some tongue-in-cheek videos about it and all that. But there's loads of settings, you know. Just checking Eric hasn't buggered off. Um, yeah, there's loads of settings. So when when people look at this, they're like, oh my God, there's loads of knobs. But there actually isn't okay so let's break this down because this is about a mindset and this is about simplicity so the the mineral control fine up here for a vast majority of people um, around the world in most countries you're never going to need that you know like if you're in Bulgaria somewhere and you've got heavy magnetite and just insane mineralization then that comes into play but for all of us we don't really need it so look you can literally scrub that one out okay and then we've got ground balance and ground balance those two are ground balance yeah this switch engages that so for most of us not all of us but for most of us those two won't really be relevant okay we have a battery check here. That's not complicated. The LC and MC meter, now this is this confuses people, and what I'm gonna say here, let's turn it on. Let's just, so turn the meter on. What I'm gonna say here, if you're hardwired for VDI machines and readouts, you might automatically go into this RGB meter as some form of VDI it's not and if you're going to be trying to dig by colors you're going to be wasting your time okay now Nexus users guys that have been using Nexus for 20 years and and, and everyone all they want to know is if something is ferrous and non-ferrous that's it not oh that might be foil so I'm going to leave it because it came up blue so just like the Credo, non-ferrous is red. Uh, V2, um, non-ferrous is red. V3, it comes up non-ferrous, depending on what it is, conductivity-wise, will come up as colors, mixed colors. Some things that have mixed metals will be mixed colors. All you want to know is if it is non-ferrous or ferrous. Now, ferrous will not light the meter up, yeah? So when the, the meter lights up over a target, it's non-ferrous. You dig it. You will get visual signs of falsing, which I've written about and explained. But engaging the VCO, you'll be able to ID if it's iron or not, okay? So that's already simplified that. If you're getting colours over a target, it's non-ferrous, so you dig it. If you're not if you don't want to dig the iron and that's not being engaged you don't dig it but some relic hunters will dig the iron as well okay so that's simplified that when you're searching in vco tones alone in iron infested ground turn the meter off so you're just using the audio 
And then the discrimination here, okay, so units made from January 2023 on low frequency coils, keep the discrimination at zero. Don't touch it, keep it at zero. When you're using the Silver Scout, you have to find the sweet spot where it phases the iron out and still picks up a coin underneath or in close proximity to, okay? Okay, so I've done this before. I've made a couple of videos, but I'll show it again, okay? So I got the Silver Scout, New Wave Silver Scout. Turn the meter off, VCO tones. I'm gonna set the discrimination for unmasking. I've got an iron, iron nail here. So we're getting the high tone really slowly on the disc. We want to phase that out. Really slow. Now we've got the high, um, the low tone. Dial it back a fraction. We've just got the high tone back in. Bring it back up a fraction. Hang on. Fraction more. Silver coin. That's how you set it up for unmasking, okay? So always carry some iron to check. So that's simple. Threshold level, once again, that's simple as well. It's either audible or just audible, or if you're using VCO tones, as I explained before, look, if, if you, if you have the threshold up too, too much, look, you don't want that. So you suppress it to quieten the whole thing down. And that means the audio response will be, you know, just nice, tight, smooth, you know, and fast, which is what it's designed to be. That's it, okay? There's nothing more than that. It doesn't matter about these numbers. It doesn't matter where the numbers fall. It doesn't mean that you have really high mineralization if they're high or hardly any mineralization if they're low. It doesn't matter. Um, if, if you've balanced your machine, yeah, and it's, and it's running smooth when you lift the coil and lower the coil, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what number it's on, okay? So, so again, forget the numbers. Um, if you're hardwired to digital VDI machines, yeah, you have to leave that mindset behind because it does not relate to, the, to this, this machine whatsoever, okay? It's really simple. So, so don't look into things too deeply trying to overcomplicate it because compared to all of the di digital machines out there with your ferrous limits and your god knows what this is a piece of piss to set up it's just the finer points of operation that need to be need to be um practiced and that's it you know so just to kind of finish so i turn up at a site going to find a clear spot just audible threshold it's balanced that's it and then you're ready to go and because this is a high frequency coil keep the meter off turn the audio on suppress the threshold a little bit
and that's it okay and it's the same it's a simple process keep your mindset simple um, I've posted a link to the blog which goes into it in really heavy detail and what it is I'm just expressing how I approach it okay